the Schumann residence. That's what we're going to talk about today. What is the Schumann residence? How do we track it? How is it affecting us? What can we do when we are in the middle of a Schumann residence spike? And the importance of Schumann residence to our ascension process. Also, what's going to happen when we mix eclipses season, eclipse energy, eclipse season with Schumann resonance spikes because eclipse season is coming up starting July 2nd. I'm also going to offer you some information about that as well. So let's start off simply. What is Schumann resonance? Well, I wrote a blog post about it back in March 2019. I'm going to put a link below that you can click on to reconnect with that blog. But according to Wikipedia, the Schumann resonance is the frequency of the electromagnetic field of the Earth. So for simplicity um, sake, you can consider it to be like the heartbeat of the Earth. And for a very long time, it held steady at 7.83 hertz, but now it's changing. In fact, many studies and articles suggest the Schumann residence has been jumping around since about 2014. And since 2017, we've been having noticeable spikes. This year, 2019, Schumann residence is spiking from its original position daily, several times a day, in fact. Sometimes it's a small spike and sometimes it's been prolonged. Now, where can you track the spikes? Well, there is a Russian website that tracks Schumann residents, and there's a few places on the internet where you can gain access to it. I follow the measurements on Twitter, okay? So the handle is at Schumann bot, at Schumann bot. They post updates every two hours, and they're, they're so faithful. Whoever this gentleman is, he's so faithful at putting these updates up there, and that is my most frequented Twitter handle is at Schumann bot. All right. So here's what a reading looks like. Okay. I hope you can see that. All right. If there's not a glare and on the left axis is the Hertz. The lower axis is the time and on the top is the date. Now, something to note about the time, all right? The time is in universal time zone plus seven hours because the, uh, the measurements are taken in a Russian time zone. So this is really important to note because when I first started accessing these readings, what I noticed was that, um, oh, the, the spikes are not correlating to what I'm feeling. And then I realized the timing is all wrong. So the time is UTC universal time zone plus seven hours, all right? Now the green areas, the blue areas, these are normal, fairly normal pulses of the electromagnetic frequency. Anywhere you see a whiteout, okay? And I chose this because this big whiteout right here that went on for a few hours is the whiteout that happened on the very last day of our Camino walk, the day we were walking into Santiago. And wow, I mean, was we, when we were walking into Santiago, it was just like we had had enough. <laughs> we were ready to get to the cathedral. There were all kinds of energies moving. And as soon as I got back to my room, I was like, oh, I wonder what Schumann was doing and we had a big spike then. So the white is anywhere where there's whites, you can see there's smaller whites, there's bigger whites. That is a, a spike, okay? And it has been shown, right, through unscientific research at this point to correlate, those spikes correlate with people being able to feel the fluctuation in their physical bodies, okay? So this is what I want to talk to you about. So first of all, what is causing these spikes? If the earth has been pulsing at 7.83 hertz for as long as we are aware, what is happening now? Okay, here is the official language, all right? Schumann resonances are global electromagnetic resonances. 
generated and excited by lightning discharges in the uh, cavity formed by the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. Okay, lightning discharges. But researchers and curiosity seekers like myself, we are investigating, is it an intensification of lightning that is causing these spikes? If so, what's causing more lightning? Or is there something else that is changing the electric frequency on the planet? And honestly, at this point, we don't know. It is all speculation. And what I am offering you here is simply information for your consideration and a jumping point for you to do your own investigation. So some of the theories that are being bantered about is is the rising consciousness of humanity causing the spike, right? As our consciousness opens, as our vibration rises up, is that what's causing the spike of the Schumann resonance? Is the earth purging itself energetically of density that it's been holding, thus causing the spikes? Are the waves of light coming from the galactic core, the great central sun, these cleansing, upgrading waves of light coming in, the new light codes, causing the spike and remember we're coming up to eclipse season eclipse energies are intense eclipse energies are like waves of light that create change big and dramatic suddenly in our lives in our day-to-day -day lives but also within and so that's why i'm doing this video because we're coming up to eclipse season also could it be all of the above Right? Could we be getting these spikes because of all of the above? We don't know for certain at this point, but we do feel the effects. Now, before I continue on, I want to address, because I know somebody's saying, well, what about solar flares and solar bursts and solar activities? Yes, all of that are continuing, and we do feel them. I have written many energy updates posts alerting to incoming solar activity, which we also feel when intensified. I have been writing about solar flares and activity since 2011. They were particularly strong 2012 to about 2015. And while they are still in play and very important, their strength seems to have diminished. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's the word that I'm going to use. Now, please, I am not saying that solar activity is not important to our experience. It is. It's important to our experience on Earth, to our ascension process, to changing of our consciousness, to the changing of our DNA. But we are also moving now into solar minimum, okay, where solar activity is slowing down. And what seems to be picking up is the activity of the Schumann residents. And I have been guided personally to focus more on Schumann. So when a Schumann residence spike happens, it can be a long energy spike like the weekend white wall spike we experienced back in March 2019. Uh, I noticed it. Many people noticed it. I wrote a blog post about it. I Facebooked about it. It was the whole weekend. It was a spike and everybody was putting their comments of what they were noticing and feeling. And that was the spike that alerted me to, oh, Esther, pay more attention to what Schumann residence is doing. That's when I got my divine guidance call to, to start incorporating this into energy updates. Some spikes are just quick on and off. Others last hours and then stop. And then sometimes now we're going through a day or two without a spike at all. But remember, these spikes in, of, in, in and of themselves are a bit unusual. Okay. So as I started to observe and research, I noted the actions and reactions and feelings and emotions and energies of myself my clients that I work with, and the everyday person I was encountering on the street. And I would then check in with Schumann residents to see if when there seemed to be an intense emotional episode, whether it was great joy or sadness or a physical response like, oh, I got lots of energy or I'm really fatigued, 
people being agitated or extremely calm, I would check in to see what was happening on Schumann residence to see if there was a connection. So this is not scientific. This is my observations. So the first thing I noticed was during a spike, some people feel great energy, really energized, focused, clear. They're taking action, strong intuition, but also some people feel wiped out, agitated, nervous, wanting to reach out to addictive behaviors to soothe. It varies just as the solar flares varied with our energy levels, okay? Then body aches, pains, joint aches, and headaches. Okay, let's talk about that because this was really interesting. So when body aches and pains would happen, these are unusual, okay? Unusual aches and pains. I never get a pain in my back. Today I do. I never get a headache. Today I do. Today my shoulder's hurting me. This is unusual. And it would come and go in tandem with the Schumann resonance spike. So it, it was really that cut and dry. So there would be a spike. The pain would come on. Soon as the spike was over, it would go away. There was no build up or, you know, or fading away, or I'm feeling it pre-spike, or I'm feeling it post-spike. It was the spikes happening, and here is the body ache and pain, okay? In particular, I noticed headaches. For myself, I don't get headaches, but all of a sudden found myself getting headaches in correlation with the Schumann resonance spike, even though there was no logical reason for it, right? I was not dehydrated. Um, you know, I hadn't just drank five bottles of wine or something like that. Uh, there was no logical reason for getting a headache at that point. All right. Now, one of the theories about headaches, body aches during Schumann residence is that the energy spikes are affecting our brain waves. Okay. The beta and the gamma brain waves taking us into higher consciousness. And that might be the reason for the headaches. Our brain is waking up. Old connections are being dismantled. New connections are being made. And our auric field is changing all around us. Because as we are recalibrating, okay, the earth is recalibrating, our minds, bodies, our energy field, because we stand and live upon the earth, are recalibrating with earth energy spikes okay now i researched um, even more deeply into the aches and pains because this is one of the re reasons people come to me for personal sessions um, i do a lot of work with talking to the pain talking to the body part of the body that hurts to um, release the emotional the mental and eventually the physical reactions of that and so what I noticed for myself and for others is that during a Schumann resonance spike, where there already is a weakness in the body, the spike amplified the weakness. Okay. And so the question is, is this because it's healing? Is it pushing the lower frequencies out of that part of the body and we're feeling it more? Or... Is the body trying to get our attention by saying, hey, look at this, <laughs> this part of the body, the shoulder, it's not 100% optimal. Take a look at it. So, for example, if someone has lower back issues, uh, lower back soreness, stiffness, that'll kick into high gear during a spike. If someone has a, a chronic eye issue, that will act up. Okay. If someone has an old shoulder injury, Right? There's a weakness in the shoulder. That is where they would feel the Schumann residence body pain and aches. All right. If digestion is a problem, that acts up. What was also very interesting to me is that if someone had something artificial in their body, okay, for instance, pacemaker, or maybe you have some metal, metal parts, screws, bolts, um, you would feel an ache right in that area. Hearing aids as well. 
Also, implants, okay? I have a, a few people who had um, implants in their bodies, like breast implants, and they would say that during a Schumann resident spike, what they noticed was that right around the implant, they felt some unusual pain, like something was very unusual that they took notice of, okay? So anything artificial that might be in your body may kick up a reaction during a Schumann spike. Other effects with the body, uh, swelling in the body, retaining water. Again, this is unusual swelling that goes away quickly after the spike ends. Stiffness, yes, stiffness in the body. All right. So Im imagine you're living on a planet, the heartbeat is regular, right? 7.83 hertz, boom, 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 boom. And the heartbeat speeds up. And sometimes it's a huge spike. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. It will affect you and everything on the planet. Yes, including your pets, all right? So I want to note, even equipped with this information, please seek out assistance from a healthcare practitioner, a mental healthcare practitioner, physical, mental, when you experience these issues, especially when they are in a prolonged state. Because I really believe that even ascension symptoms need attention. And I highly encourage that. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> Let me not forget this because this is a big one. Cravings. Cravings. One of the effects reported to me the most during spikes. People crave certain foods. And mostly it was heavy foods. Like something that was heavy and uh, bulky foods. And that was everything from, you know, vegetarians saying, I ate bowls and bowls and bowls of vegetables, right? To people saying, I ate a whole pile of meat, uh, fried foods, because they can be uh, heavier, sugar, okay? Something heavy in the stomach, something that was uh, considered to be soothing to the psyche. So please watch for that. And note for that, if, that if you're getting cravings during Schumann residence, and those cravings do not support your health and fitness goals, make a change, okay? Just notice, wow, I'm craving this food right now, but I am going to choose to have something different because cravings in and of themselves, they're fine because they often point to a deficiency in the body of maybe a mineral or a vitamin or something going on with our emotional state for us to address. But cravings that we give into for emotional soothing, food, drink, drugs, shopping, whatever it might be, they often work against our intentions and they're self-sabotaging. So in these instances, be aware, be conscious, choose food and drink wisely. Again, the craving will likely come, this is from my observation, during that time of the energy spike. Okay. Ah, all right, uh, let's see. Oh, menstruation, yes, menstruation. Let's talk about that because during Schumann residence, people are reporting to me that they haven't menstruated in a long time and they're getting bleeding. Some people are reporting heavier periods or their period coming earlier or extending longer. People feeling restless, a lot of that energy coming up. In fact, during spikes, I've noticed I get a lot more signups for readings and sessions, right? Because something's coming up and people are feeling that, mm, I, this is not right. I want to deal with it once and for all. So I noticed that I've been getting more clients during a spike. So maybe you are a um, self-care, health care, uh, holistic care practitioner. Maybe you'll notice that more people, you know, reach out, reach out for help. Uh, during these times, okay? People become unbalanced. And I'm not talking about wobbly on their feet, although that could happen. What I've noticed is unbalanced in thinking, logic, agitation, right? So one plus one does not exactly equal two, right? That the unbalanced thinking. So please notice that. And as I mentioned earlier before, some people during these spikes report high energy, like really high positivity and optimism and confidence, and they're getting things done. And they have ideas and they're setting them into motion right away, and they feel so great about themselves. So 
these manifestations run from, oh gosh, something doesn't feel right to, wow, this feels awesome. Look what I'm manifesting. Okay. It seems to go both ways. And I've noticed it myself. Sometimes during a spike, I feel woo on top of the world. And other times I'm like, I need to be really mindful about what I say, what I do, what actions I take, you know, during the next little while. And my theory behind that is because a spike comes through and it clears something heavy out of us, right? And then the next spike comes through and it's filling us and it's lifting our vibration. And maybe that's why I'm noticing a back and forth, a back and forth. So what do you do? when Schumann residence is spiking and you are feeling the effects? Well, if it's the higher manifestations, you know, the high energy, the get up and go, the ideas, the intuitive flashes, go with it, flow with it, <laughs> manifest. And if it is what we would call the lower manifestations, the same suggestions apply as during in times of intense solar activity. So ground, hydrate, rest as needed. A lot of people reporting they need a cool, dark place to rest, similar to uh, when someone gets a migraine, okay? Be outside in nature. Those negative ions really help from the trees, the grass, the water. Bare feet on the ground. Yes, even though the earth frequency is spiking, walking bare feet on the ground helps. Just a better flow of the energy, all right? Please drink pure water and consider putting electrolytes in it. Sea salt, I use pink Himalayan sea salt, potassium chloride, the powder. Uh, you can make your own electrolytes without all of the fillers. Um, I also drink a lot of water with lemon or uh, water with lemon and apple cider vinegar with the mother in it. Um, I drink that all the time, but particularly during Schumann spikes, I notice my body craves it. Okay, so give your, your, yourself, your body, what you need. Again, be consciously aware of any addictive behaviors, actions coming up. Choose wisely for you, right? And if something comes up and you're thinking, wow, I need a drink or I need many drinks right now, then, then just ask yourself, okay, other than alcohol to soothe and get through this energy spike, what else? What else can I do to help me to flow with the energies that will be more supportive rather than self-medicating, okay? Of course, meditation, prayer, connecting with your higher self, very good. At this point, I consider meditation, prayer, just a given, the, the number one go-to, all right? And self-care in any way that is supportive with you, okay? So this video was very important for me to create because having this awareness of what is happening, what the possibilities are, allows you to work in tandem with the energy spikes to assist you in your ascension and growth process, right? Use this information that is coming up during these spikes for your personal development. And that's why I love working with the universal energy so much, whether it is a solstice or eclipse or full moon or Schumann residence, because um, you know, while we can create and make change at any time, in any moment, there are certain times when the energetics support massive change. And I find eclipse energy does that. And what I'm noticing now is the Schumann resonance really does that. Okay. And so this is why I felt led to include working with Schumann residents in the upcoming Eclipse Energy event. It starts July 2nd. I've posted a link below in the comments section where you can sign up and get more information. I've never included Schumann residents in an Energy Eclipse event before, but this time we will. So I am going to keep track of what's happening with Schumann. I will email you updates as they happen, suggestions on how to work with the energy because it is very strong energy. The eclipse energy is very strong energy. Plus there's gonna be a whole host of other things going on. And we can throw the covers over our head and moan and groan about these energy waves 
or we can say, hey, thank you, universe. I am going to work with these energies, work in harmony with them to co-create the life that I want, I desire, and I deserve, and be a positive change to the world around me. Okay, so during the eclipse event, you don't really have to keep track of it. I will be keeping track of it for you. I will be sending you that information in the energy update. So we can work with all of the energies for good. It's, it's very exciting. And so, yes, the eclipse, uh, the first eclipse is coming up on July 2nd. It is a total solar eclipse. And eclipse energies are... There are those times, there are those times on planet Earth where it's a tool that universe uses to really shake us, to wake us up, to open doors of opportunity, to close doors that need to be closed, to offer us instant manifestations, to show us clearly where we are standing in the way of what we want to create, to give us the people, the information, the resources to say, I'm ready to make change. Let's go and do it and co-create with God the universe in a conscious manner. And so that's why I offer these Eclipse Energy events, which are full support with energy transmission calls and daily energy work. We're going to be doing it three times a day this event. I'm going to be doing a bonus Q&A call. You will be able to email me on a daily basis of your requests for distant energy healing work that I will include in the day's event. And, you know, there's opportunity for private sessions and readings just to make it a full experience, a full uh, July 2nd to the 17th, a full time period of inner work and positive change in your life right? Dealing with what presents in a way of resolution and forward movement. And I invite you to join us. All right. So it's going to be another great eclipse event starting July 2nd with the Tolar Solar Eclipse Energy Transmission Call. As I said, it wraps up the 17th just after the lunar eclipse culmination and call. And details and sign up are below. In the meantime, Check out the Schumann Residence. Go on Twitter. Maybe you'll start following at Schumann Bot there for the uh, Schumann Residence updates and begin to notice how you feel when there is a spike. And please either uh, leave a comment below, like tell me what you've been noticing during spikes or send me an email. That's always a great way to get a hold of me. And I will add your information to the ongoing research and observation that I'm doing. All right. So have a great day, everyone, and we'll talk soon.